Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be discussing this powerful light deck. The most powerful light deck, excuse me, in all of the game. So let's go ahead and talk about this powerful deck. And also before we get started, I just want to mention that I'm really close to start live streaming soon. I just downloaded a couple of programs and I'm going to be testing that out soon. And I just want to know how many of you guys are interested in actually watching me live stream. So if you are interested in that idea of watching me play the game live and, you know, communicating with you guys and speaking to you and answering your guys' question, we can do a live Q&A, live gameplay, all of that. You know, I can stream for about like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on, you know, what's going on. But I just want to know because I know this game Slayer wise and Crusade and Commander wise, um, you know, you're constantly playing. So I'm not really sure how many people would actually be willing to watch me play. So let me know if you guys are interested in me live streaming. So let's go ahead and get started now. For the solo bosses, this is the deck that I'm running. One in Dale, because you need a lot of light gems. I think that everybody so far that's using this deck is using Indale. So Indale is really necessary for this um, because of the battle skill. Transport 10 gems to light, and then you get a charge rate of 16 gems and a zero turn cooldown. So that that card is essential for this deck. So Loga, unfortunately, the Dispel Fear is garbage on this um, tier 6. And I do want to make a recommendation to Network. Um, when it comes to dispelling any type of counter skill against the guild boss or any boss really for the event, I think they need to dis uh, change the tier from a tier 6 to at least a tier 9. So that way we can actually use the full event deck and not have to replace cards just to get like a tier 9 uh, dispel for fear or any other counter that we might run into like gem silence for example because i know when bosses have gem silence it's really annoying and then um i did go ahead and get lucky with the lunar um j twins um i was a bit able to pick this up because as i stated in my previous video that all i needed was the one card and i got it from the hero collection and then i bought the pack one time and i got the other uh card that i needed and I was able to complete the Master Collection. So that's how I ended up getting the deck. But honestly, it is not the most powerful deck. To be honest with you guys, right now I am running. I'm not running this, but I am running the Tesla Reborn deck. So the Tesla Reborn deck is what I've been using along with Erzo, the Warden. He is going to be basically dispelling the uh, Fear card. And I apologize if you hear a lot of background noise. I have people over. And I haven't had time to make a video on this um, event. So give you guys feedback on how the deck is going. So now is the good as time as any. I've been just r really busy, man. And then my internet was gone for a day or two. And then I even did the giveaway winner. I announced them even late also. So it's just been really bad. Right now I'm just racking up the intensity. I don't really care about matching too much that's just how i play so right now i'm just waiting to get to a really high intensity and then i can go ahead and use up all my skills so that's what i'm just waiting for and um yeah so let's see here almost there um generally i like to take it to at least 200 or something like that 200 plus and then you know it's smooth sailing from there Right now, I'm purposely not really matching that many gems. And now I'm going to start to running low on health. That's the biggest thing. And let's go ahead and start matching these yellow gems to proc it. And I really hate Alexa sometimes because Alexa's 30% chance, I swear, it doesn't even feel like it's 30%. It seems much more or less than that. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to have to match a lot now to get more yellow gems on the board. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. I might not survive, actually. Oh, it just procced. If I survive this hit, then I am good and I'm good. Perfect. So you can kind of see, like, based on chance and the amount of damage and everything, like now you'll see 
that it's only in the billions 1.5 1.2 but you won't really be able to do this much damage with the event deck so that's the main problem that the uh, the event deck right now is extremely like weak um i honestly think the health is kind of low on it and um i haven't really been having that much of a great time with the event deck honestly the vladim deck the ancient fire affinity deck that has the similar skills i honestly believe that is much better um i think they just needed to i honestly hope that they buff the deck because they're advertising it as the most powerful light deck in the whole game and that is completely false that is literally false advertisement i don't really care who gets butt hurt about that but that is that is the god honest truth it is false advertisement this is not the strongest light deck in the game the tesla deck that i just showed you the amount of damage that does that is a lot better than this deck regardless of how long it takes the amount of power gems you spawn with it and the overall damage is just so much more and honestly you need warden you need a warden that can um dispel fear at a much higher rate so this is a lot better than six so that's what they really need to do they need to make the event cards like if you want to use the full event deck you should be able to use the cards in the actual event and they should be able to dispel fear or any counter all the way to level 200 simple as that so this is basically how i've been doing it one in dale and the reason that i'm using one one sensha is because of the gloves i need those um relics to um spawn those light gems in the beginning because without those relics um i'm not gonna the relic this time around for this deck is nothing great it's just the regular um regular relic that you increase intensity by five every turn and then um you're just getting the four light gems in the beginning of the match so I had a I have like four or five I think no I think I have four of the of the glove relics from the Sensha so I'm using like majority of those and then I did build up a little bit for the intensity for Loga to um destroy the light gems depending on the ancient intensity so I'm not using Bimin either I don't really think that his battle skill is worth it but this is what i've been running i know a lot of people are running like so many different type of mixtures to try to get this deck to do a lot of damage but this is what i've been using i honestly don't even care at this point the event is about to end tomorrow and i really can't wait for this event to end because honestly it was kind of a letdown the only good thing that i have to say was the the lunar boxes the lunar boxes had a lot of great gems in them and i personally got lucky like once or twice got 1000 gems from them and then i think i got another 1000 something gems from them so the boxes overall were really good the deck a bit of a letdown a lot of people are asking for a buff and i really do hope that they buff this deck um i think it has great potential but right now it's just horrible compared to other decks so this is the two i've been using the tesla deck for the main boss and then for the solo bosses i've just been using this um this test deck i literally called it test because i've just been messing around with it and the relic isn't anything special or great and the cards are pretty weak to be honest i'm not sure the health is just not there i feel like it's kind of like a glass cannon tank the passives do stack up and it's great like the increase in the attack but it's still pretty weak compared to the other light decks out there and them advertising this is the most powerful deck is the most powerful light deck is just bullshit like i don't know why or who came up with the idea to advertise that it's the most powerful light deck in the whole game but they could have fixed it just the way they fixed the um oh that's gone right now they had like the lunar gem sale where they were advertising there was like a plus sign like you were gonna get extra gems but in reality you weren't getting extra gems it was the same thing so they've been kind of messing up with the advertising a little bit and hopefully they get their shit together that's all i can really say <laughs> Uh, the false advertisement you're just gonna make a lot of players mad you're gonna make a lot of people mad so hopefully they kind of learn from their mistakes and i hope somebody actually re starts reviewing their stuff review the deck 
have people test it. If you don't have enough people on the inside to test the deck, I'll be more than happy to test the deck for you. I'll be more than happy and willing to help you guys out if anybody at Network is listening and does watch my videos. I'm more than happy to help you guys out and, you know, make the game better in any way, shape, or form. It's not hard to reach me. I'm in contact with you guys. Let me know. I would like to help you guys out. I don't mind. I don't mind testing the decks for you, letting you know. I don't mind reviewing anything for you. Um, it's just simple mistakes. Like the advertisement is wrong. You know, the, it's not a powerful. It's not the most powerful light deck in the game. Like you need to review this stuff before it gets pushed out to the live game. And that's really all I take away from this event. I'm really hoping it, it gets over soon. And it could have been a lot better, but it wasn't, unfortunately. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And let me know if you want me to live stream. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.